All right, it's Monday again. You know what that means? It's time for more GeoGuessr. How we doing? How was your weekend? Um, if you live in the area of America that I live in, we're uh, being angry that we're in Russia. But this may help. This just might help. M11, I know that's around Moscow. My weekend is weird. I don't know why everyone seems to be so upset about this. It's just part of where we live. Uh, what I'm just mainly complaining about is the fact that it's a uh, snowing out. It is current time of year, and it is snowing out. And a lot of people I know are not happy. How far do I got to go in? M10. The M11 near that now? This is the best chance I'm going to get to know. It just did. I was going to say M11 just disappeared. There's M11. No, I want E20. I'm being dumb. Great. So, East 20. East 30. Is 20 above that? I'm very upset that even Ivan Grold, this should be easy to find. But it's it's not because to zoom in to see this is it's it's real hard. I can't get all the inform all the information I need to fit on the screen here. God damn it. The M9. Is blue M11 the same as green M11? I don't know. Hmm. I'm going to click here for now. And hopefully be able to figure out. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drift a bit to hopefully find it. E20. E31. Oh, this is... That's a different country. But it's snowing out right now, and I'm sure that a lot of places in the world it is not snowing right now because if you're in the northern hemisphere, it's spring, and it's doing the spring thing. It's just not doing that here. And it's upsetting, frustrating. It is for me. There's E20. Thank Jesus. All right, where's E20 go? E20... Ivan Gorol. There's Tallinn. We in Estonia again? I don't think so. I should be able to see Ivan Gorold. Because it's got to intersect with the M11. Let's look for Ivan Gorod. Even though that apparently is an hour and 20 minutes, 15 minutes away. Hmm. But I'm just, I'm hoping that this isn't that bad of a guess. Although, it, there's Ivan Gorold is that way. And we're on this intersection, which means we're like here. I'm going to click here. Yeah. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good about this. I'm going to make this guess. Mmm. Mmm, I like that. I'm happy with that guess. Five stars, Russia. Thank. I'm actually. You know what? Round of applause, cause Russia, you finally, you finally did it. You gave me something I can use, and here we are. In uh, quite possibly another part of Russia, but it's snowing outside. It shouldn't be, cause it's April. But there have been times before, and I'm sure I mentioned this before at some point that. I've gone to the driving range in the beginning of April and then not actually been able to go out golfing until it was uh, almost May. And I guess it's just turning out that uh, La Sunción. I should know that this is. I want to say this is. 
Pintura E. Yeah, this is Spanish. If it was French, it would have been, uh, instead of E, it would have been E-T, as in and, et. E, I think, in Spanish is, uh, and. So, I have to figure out where in España this just might be, but... It's just something you gotta deal with, with living in, that's, oh, I always thought that was an aqueduct. It's just something you gotta deal with, but living in this part of the, uh, world is, sometimes it's gonna be awful. And you're just gonna be, yeah, weather shit. Just know in like three months it won't be, fingers crossed. I believe that's an aqueduct. Maybe it says. Um... Romans are crossing the road in 30 kilometers. This guy's telling... Oh! He's telling you a recipe for miso soup and that Nazis suck. I believe that's the correct way the swastika is going to go. Let's see if the auto, like, language detect thing in YouTube picks that up and now I'll have my video flag for just saying the word. Uh, one thing at a time, but first, I have a friend of mine who this um can't understand why we're able to see the sun which is over there and the moon at the same time he feels like they should be diametrically opposed to each other therefore you shouldn't be able to see one and the other because it seems silly that you can see the moon during the day but you can't see the sun at night although you Technically can because the sun is reflecting off the moon. That's why you can see the moon at all at night. But but anyway. He just made the observation that it seems weird that that. Something like that is something you should be able to see in the day. And I had it explained to me. In uh. My strong. Le see I'm going to get in trouble here because I cannot remember which one is the study of planets and which one's the like horoscope one. There's astronomy and astrology, I believe. Allos is Latin for the study of, I believe. Ology. Like uh, herpetology, the study of snakes. Biology, study of bios. You know, the things that make computers run. <laughs> Funny guy. Um, so maybe it's astronomy. No, now, see, now I'm like, there's astronomists. And astrology, I think, is the thing they're using to, like, no, it is a legitimate thing because it's ology. Fuck, now, like, brain is dumb. You've, you've obviously seen this before with me when I've tried to explain things. And been like, well, my brain just instantly second guesses me, and now I'm just like, well, now I never know. And if I actually, like, you talk to me in 30 seconds, I'll like, well, of course it's this. And I'm hoping we're in the right country. We are. I'm fine with that guess. I'm so happy that the Russia one turned out the way it did. Mm. I'm going to give you four stars. This one is going to get zero stars. Right off the bat. Southwest America, unless you turn into uh, Australia, which you're not because that speed limit 65. Stop sign. I believe there's a highway sign right there. Please transition to better quality. No, that's just a uh, man bent over. Or it's a power drill. See, like, the handle there, and then the drill bit head's right there? You tell me. Uh, that's just a sign saying turn left or right. If it wasn't obvious, that probably just says road construction ahead. I'm really good at identifying signs. Caution, road construction. Well, I'm going to go this way, then. Because at least I'm on the side of the road that is closest to a sign. And that probably just says, caution children at play. Is that, I don't know if that's a sign of me just being very observant or really good design on the sign maker's part for you to be able to distinguish what a sign says without actually having been able to read it. I think it's mostly the sign person. Like, you can look at a picture of what a stop sign is supposed to look like, but yeah, that's a stop sign. And every country's kind of like agreed to the shape of what a stop sign should be. Suddenly the road does not exist anymore. I teleported very far away. No, it just ends at this bridge. I think I made a bad guess. 
and uh, we're I'm never gonna know where we are now is this I'm gonna hit home and go this way yeah okay and then yeah I'm gonna go this way because I am come on thank you I'm at a bit of a loss as to where we are road has been constructed here these are I want to say why do we have a bar and whoa it just changed real quick I think it was the clouds nope that was just one time it like the camera came up for air and almost got a decent quality photo I feel we're in this area just because this feels Southwest America and if this is Idaho Idaho just seems like it's misplaced. I've never been there. But. Have I flown over it? No. I mean, it came close. I flew over Salt Lake. That thing's huge. That's like the dumbest observation I think I've made so far today. Or ever in general. Mm. But. What are you going to do? What am I going to do? I'm going to sit here and play two more games. Two more rounds of GeoGuessr. And hopefully get some good quality. It's gonna don't do this to me. Why do you register it as register? I got problems talking today. Maybe it's just the ability to conjugate. Uh, you're just giving me X signs. I don't want that. Just being able to independently state each syllable in a word. Putting the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. Fucking. This this is just a really bad photo. I Hopefully I got the state right. If not, I'm close enough to know that if this turns out to be Idaho or South Dakota. Hmm. Hmm. Pine trees. Pine trees feel like North. North Idaho. Idaho. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Watch me. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I swear to God, I'm gonna do it. I can't do it. I should have done it. Fucking... There's a rash of Montanas. Recently, granted. Oh my Christ. I can't catch a break with GeoGuessr. Like, I... Finally... The one time out of a million... Got... That's a town back that, or something back this way. I got a road sign on a Russian road. It's like blue, once in a blue moon type territory here. And now, every other one has just been the worst quality photo. And I can't stand it. This shouldn't be a thing. Is it like one of those things to be like, oh, well, you've played the free GeoGuessr long enough. Now give us some money and you won't see this garbage anymore. I find that hard to believe. I'm just going to say we're uh, in this portion of Nebraska on a decent sized road. Route 61. We are heading north, I believe. Just because this is flat. And that is all I'm able to make out. That and the little rumble strip things on the side of the road, which are sometimes fun to drive on. But the most, the funnest, most fun, whatever the word you want to call it, is if you've ever been on a road when it's being repaired or under construction, they've actually put a new layer of pavement on, but they have not yet put any of the uh, paint on. They put those little uh, plastic flap thingies. I don't know what the hell to call them other than just plastic flap thingies. Hey, I actually do have a uh, drive in movie theater here. That's pretty cool. Little flappy things on the road. And I always just uh, drive on them because it makes a cool noise. Go thunk, 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 thunk. We're getting into a town because the speed limit has dropped. I just hope... I can... That's historical something or other. Lake Brook? 
lacrosse? Any of those things? Better quality? Nope. Nothing. Although I can see better. Although this maybe will get better when I get into town. Give me... Like, there's this little narrow vision. That's an A&W stand, I believe. Nope, it's just a... It's just the thing. A bunch of flags here for the center of town. Or are they just posts? Maybe they're supposed to have flags. I don't know. I don't know. Go down this way. It's not much better. As far as, uh... Camera work. Zoom out. Get back on the road of... Smudgy lens. Oh. This may help. Kid's Corner. This is nowhere I would put a kid. This is a very sketchy looking building. And I'm sure someone has gone to jail who's worked there. That's a nice looking brick building. That is all I have to say. Seems a little, uh... Oh, welcome back, bad, um, image. Please, that's a duck walls. Hometown variety store. Walls full of ducks. I was not that far off, but no stars for awful camera work. What's the town? Oh, it was lacrosse. Okay. Next to Rush? Oh, I thought that said Rush. Bummer. Oh, I saw that slight blur for a second. And if I can nail almost perfect score, we're going to get 20,000. And believe it or not, I think the highest score we got so far is that rush, I guess. That is a cool house. And this is either England or Scandinavia. This is England. I am feeling very confident in my England guess here. Nope. Informations, municipals. Vern. That's... This is French. Although it seems... French. Alle du Castel, or Castel. Where am I? I'm like, I'm getting myself very disoriented. There we go. So we're in France. France is a large enough country. It's Columbo's Road. Never watched the show because I always associated that with something that a lot of old people would watch, and I didn't. Oh, come on, I did not want to watch it because I didn't. It's like it's boring. Like being forced to watch soap operas when you're a kid at a uh, daycare, and when daycare consisted of. The one old lady in the block who actually was willing to watch your kid for the day. Didn't mean she was good at it. Didn't mean she enjoyed it. She just did it anyway. It was money. Hello, little, uh... Renault. You're a tiny car. Oh, now we're getting into town. Oh, that sign said something. And one of the people I had to stay at, because my sister and I, we were habitual... Daycare. Stairs. That's a... I used to draw trucks just like that. Just rectangles and... I actually put the work in and put the wheel wells in. That They didn't even do that. That's your speed. Is 38 miles... Kilometers an hour. Excuse me. Can I get into that parking... Deck. Garage. Parking lot. That's the word. Jesus Christ. That's probably the EU flag. Yep. The Etats Uni. European Union. No, Etats Uni is America, you fucking idiot. <laughs> this is actually, I think, Choisy. Choisile. I think that's the actual name of the bus stop. This is Sal Emmanuel Ch Chabrière. Chabrière. Yeah, this the town I believe is Choisil. 
Schwazle, Schwazle, Schwazlili. I gotta, I gotta make a guess here. It's a portion of France. I don't think I'm gonna get the. Uh, this could be anywhere. I'm just. Should I go for broke and guess one corner of the the, the country over another? Because I don't think I'm gonna find. And this is just like a sprawling enough tiny town. That it's very hard to let's institute department of children in the family. Fondets, loons. Alright, gotta make a guess. What do I feel like this is probably gonna be? I think it's on this side. Make guess. Holy shit. I'm so glad I moved over there. We were right outside tours. Uh, la membrose. It's the memory on choices. Five stars. Well done. I want to see what my full re results are. Because. Actually, no, we tied. But by distance, my best guess of all places was Russia. I think Estonia helped a bit on that. I'm I'm just going to I'm going to give that one a little bit. No, I'm not. It was entire it was inside the entire country of Russia. But you see if they actually put road signs on things, anybody can do this, not just me. But great start to the week. I'm I'm feeling this. And funny enough, America photography was the shittiest thing in the world. My guesses were terrible. But hey, Great start to the week. I hope that somehow this uh, can carry over into Wednesday's video. But for everyone here, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you could, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends. Watch our uh, Uncharted series we got going. It's uh, motoring along like that song. What's your price for fight? I don't know the next line because no one else does either. I believe it was in that one scene in Boogie Nights, though. Boogie Nights is a good movie. You should go see it. After watch the rest of the stuff on our channel but uh for all of us here thank you have a good day we will see you again real soon